then that, that's one of the problems of uh, so-called immigration policy. We don't have an immigration policy unless we control the border. It doesn't matter what our policy is. If anybody who wants to cross the border can cross, then our policy is just a bunch of words on paper. What do I think about c the control of our borders? What would I do about it? Ladies and gentlemen, no great country can say it is secure without being able to control its borders, period. What I would do about it was what I proposed to do about it almost 13 years ago. I would radically ramp up the number of border security guards we have, the use of electronic surveillance material we have to guard the border, and the number of what they call virtual fences. They're not literally fences, virtual fences from aerostat balloons on to where we, whereby we could control the border much, much better. A few years later. We, we already heard about some of these, some, some of these people are coming because of economic reason or natural disasters. The, the, the bottom line is when you claim asylum, you must be escaping fear and persecution from your home government because your race, religion, and political affiliation or, or membership in a particular social group. That is not the fact. If you look at immigration court data over the last 10 years, you'll see that nearly 9 out of 10 people who claim asylum at the border never get relief from U.S. courts that simply don't qualify. But they're coming and staying because of Biden's promises. Obama Biden administration deported more than three million Americans. My question to you is if an individual is living in the United States of America without documents and that is his only offense, should that person be deported? No. Depending if they committed a, a major crime, they should be deported. And the president was left in his President Obama, I think, did a heck of a job to compare him to what, what this guy's doing is absolutely, I find, close to immoral. But the fact is that, look, we should not be locking people up. We should be making sure we change the circumstance, as we did, why they would leave in the first place. And those who come seeking asylum, we should immediately have the capacity to absorb them, keep them safe until they can be heard. A 15-second, if you could, if you wish to answer. Should someone who is here without documents, and that is his only offense. Should that person be deported? That person should not be the focus of deportation. We should fundamentally change the way we deal with them. Senator. Every president I've ever worked for took some steps to secure the border because they understood you can't have national, strong national security if you don't have border security. But President Biden is the first president in the history of this nation that I know of who came in office and unsecured the border on purpose. And, 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 and even President Obama gave me the presidential rank award, highest award available. Because what was I doing at the time? I was, I was locating and deporting people that are in the country illegally. So we went for the most secure border of my lifetime. And it's not my, just my opinion. I've done this for 34 years. Anybody can go to cbp.gov and look at the data. We handed this administration the most secure border in my lifetime. And, and, and within months, we went from the most secure border to historic illegal immigration, numbers you've never seen before. And it's not because it's seasonal, it's not because of climate change, it's not because of Trump, this is by design. Hello, yes, I have a question for Mr. Sowell. Shoot. Uh, Mr. Sowell, I live in Germany and I have I went there 10 years ago and I'm an American. And when the borders fell in Berlin and we let East Germany be a part of West Germany, now we're all one. Uh, we realize something that is basically happening with Mexico here in America. And my question is, uh, because of Yugoslavia and all of the other countries that are infiltrating into Germany, don't you think uh, there's a lot more land here in America, and why the greed? You, you lost me about greed. Well, I think um, what I'm trying to say is, if we're a land that in God we trust, and Jesus says, let the children come to me. Wouldn't you agree that we need to open our arms to Mexico? No, because uh, every country has to protect its own borders. There was a time when every, virtually every country in the Western Hemisphere uh, not only allowed but encouraged immigration on a massive scale because they had the land and they needed the resources and so on. Uh, it's not at all clear that if you were to throw the borders wide open, let anyone come who wants to, that this would still be the same country 50 years from now. And so, uh, in a sense, you can't let everybody come to America, because if everybody came to America, it wouldn't be America anymore. 
So that, that's not an option that we have.